हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट थर्टीन ऑफ चैप्टर लेवन एनहांसमेंट इन फूड प्रोडक्शन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ फंग दे आर यूज एज बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स नाउ लेट अस सी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज बैक्टेरियल फर्टिलाइजर्स और फंगल फर्टिलाइजर्स बैक्टेरियल फर्टिलाइजर्स इंक्लूड द यू बैक्टेरिया एंड द साइनो बैक्टेरिया वेर एज द फंगल फर्टिलाइजर्स दे इंक्लूड एक्टोमाइकोराइजी एंड एंडोमाइकोराइजी टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ओनली फंगल बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज माइकोराइजी फंगाई दे फॉर्म सिम्बायोटिक एसोसिएशन विद द रूट हेयर ऑफ द हायर प्लांट्स एंड दे फो दे आर कॉल्ड एज माइको मीन्स फंगाई एंड राइजी एसोसिएशन विद द रूट्स ऑफ हायर प्लांट्स there are two types of mycorrhizae ectomycorrhizae and endomycorrhizae ecto one which is externally present forming a mantle and endo which is penetrating in the cells cortical cells or intracellular spaces of roots so we will be studying two types ecto and endomycorrhizae many members of the genus glomus they form mycorrhizae in the picture left hand side you can see these are endomycorrhizae they are penetrating the fungal hyphae penetrating into the root cells cortical cells whereas ectomycorrhizae it is forming a mantle they do not penetrate out uh, in the cortical cells but they are remaining out forming a mantle ectomycorrhizae they have well developed mycelium that forms a mantle mantle means covering on the outside of the root they increases the absorptive surface area of the roots accelerating uptake of water nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus calcium and potassium due to this the plant vigor growth and yield increases some hyphae mycorrhizal fungus penetrate into the root and forms hartignet in the intracellular spaces of the root cortex so look at this picture here you can see the mycelium of the fungus they are forming the mantle the covering they they are not penetrating inside the cell but if you see in between in the intracellular spaces all this region they are forming a network and this network of the fungal hyphae present in between the intracellular spaces it is called as hartig net and hartig net also it will increase the capacity of absorption of nitrogen phosphorus calcium and uh, potassium thus these are ectomycorrhizae which are staying outside not penetrating inside the cell either they are outside the root forming a mantle or in between the intracellular spaces in the form of hartig net the second type is endomycorrhizae in case of endomycorrhizae they grow in between and within the cortical cells of the roots fungal hyphae penetrate the cells and form finely branch arbuscles intracellularly you can see this thing this is a cortical cell inside the cortical cell it is forming such type of branching this type of branching of the hyphae, mycelium hyphae it is called as arbuscle so they are forming branches or hyphae inside the cell or they may form vesicles you can see these are the vesicles vesicles are pouch like structures as you can see here vesicles are forming a pouch like structure in the corticular cells okay so the these plants they are called as vesicular arbuscular mycorrhizae or vam plants nowadays they are also called as just arbuscular mycorrhizae fungi so they are penetrating endomycorrhizae if you can see they are penetrating inside the cortical cells of the root forming either arbuscles or forming either vesicles Fun function will be same increasing the surface area for absorption of nutrients the the plants with vam they can grow luxuriantly in less irrigated lands and converts less productive field into more so even if water availability is not much these arbuscles these vesicles they increase the absorption and thus plant can grow or crops can grow very well even in less irrigated lands what are the benefits of bio fertilizers we had seen five types of bio fertilizers up till now if you remember nitrogen fixing bio fertilizers phosphate solubilizing bio fertilizers compost making bio fertilizers and cyanobacteria and today we saw fungal bio fertilizers all these bio fertilizers they are free of pollution they do, do not cause air water or soil pollution they of course increase the soil fertility they are low cost they can be easily grown they are not very expensive they increase the plant growth and development because they are increasing the absorption of nutrients they improve 
the soil texture the ph of the soil increases the water holding capacity of the soil thus the crops can grow very well even in less availability of water if we talk about azotobacter they supply even nitrogen and sometimes antibiotics to the crops tolerance to root pathogens and salinity drought these tolerance is increased because of bio fertilizers they also provide organic acids or vitamins to the plants and basically if we are using blue green algae as bio fertilizers they also secrete growth promoters so all these are the benefits of bio fertilizers so students hope you have understood both endomycorrhizae ectomycorrhizae benefits of bio fertilizers in next last video of this chapter i will discuss about how microorganisms or examples of microorganisms that are used as bio fertilizers thank you